hi naturals welcome to the channel on this video i'm going to be sharing with you six reasons your natural hair is not growing i got some questions in my live session the other day when someone when one of you was asking me questions telling me that her hair hasn't been growing for years now and then i thought it's wise to share this on today's video if you've been in an uphill battle with your natural hair fear not you might be thinking that no matter what you do your hair just won't grow i get you i've been there myself for many years i thought i just didn't have the type of hair that grew after all some people's hair grows and others do not i have come to the conclusion that my hair was the type that did not grow fast my shoulders or grow past my shoulders girl i was wrong the more my interest grew in natural hair care the more i wanted to learn what i soon discovered was that my hair did not actually grow but i simply was not maintaining the growth that i was getting this is probably the same thing that you are experiencing too if it really is true that your hair does continually grow then all we need to do is to figure out how to keep the growth that we are already getting let's take a look at some of the ways we can do that six reasons your natural hair is not growing number one you play too much as you start on your natural hair journey to grow your natural hair you will probably be tempted to play about with it imagine what certain styles will look like the more it grows or just experiment stop it right now natural hair is extremely delicate and the more you play around with it the more likely it is to break you need to quit with the hands in hair syndrome i'm not saying you can't touch your hair at all but i am saying that you should keep it to a minimum playing with your hair only causes your strands to break and get tangled the more like the more tightly coiled your hair is the more likely your hair will twist around each other and get tangled stop playing with your hair natural hair loves to be uh, intertwined with each other so stop playing with your hair number two you are abusing your tools one of the first things you need to do is to quit using styling tools that are not right for your hair remember your hair is not straight it has kinks and curls. therefore if you try to use combs where the th where the teeth are too close together then you will be experiencing hair breakage there are no two ways about that alternatively you can choose to finger detangle your hair which is much more gentle as you can feel when a hair is about to snap in saying all of these not all combs and brushes are bad for your hair you just need to make sure that you get the right one look for white tooth combs and brushes that are not too aggressive for your hair get brushes with soft bristles and then use white tooth comb and i will add to, to this that you shouldn't uh, always on your wash days comb your hair if you're pre-pooing your combing if you're shampooing your combing if you're deep conditioning your combing and if you're moisturizing your combing if you're styling your combing come on that's too much for the hair so you have to be gentle with your kinks and coils number three you need a trim just because your hair is coily does not mean that you need a trim everyone has to trim their hair no matter if it is curly or straight trimming is something i never did before until i started looking into growing my hair out to waist length you might feel that you are losing out by trimming your hair but i can assure you that the opposite is true if you trim your hair you keep it in good health and therefore it will grow in as much in it will grow in much better shape i for one i trim my hair every three months for me to maintain this volume is as a result of me trimming my hair on a schedule so if you're trimming your hair you're helping your hair not to shed and break 
easily because once you have single strand knots that can travel to your root and cause more breakage so when you trim your hair you will minimize that number four you lack moisture moisture i can't stress how much your hair needs to have moisture your hair needs water if you want it to grow and that means water inter internally and externally by internally i mean you need to drink water i don't mean fizzy drinks i mean real water the clear stuff that is the natural water god has given us so drink a lot of that make sure you are drinking enough every day externally means that you need to wash your hair and keep it hydrated throughout the week as part of your natural hair regimen using a hair grease is not moisturizing your hair moisture means water i like to spray my hair a little each time i style it then i use a leave-in conditioner to help it stay moisturized for the rest of the day but you should do what works for you also add a sealant like your hair growth oil hair grease or your hair butter use it to seal in moisture i'm so sorry if you're hearing any murmuring in the background that's because i have my baby here with me number five excessive heat please do not use too much heat on your hair if you must use heat on your hair use heat protectant because i see some of you in the salon after washing your hair they go ahead and blow dry it they won't even use deep conditioners they'll go ahead and blow dry it why are the where are the heat protectants to protect your hair from damaging so don't form the habit of using heat on your hair every time if you must see me use heat that's like about twice or thrice a year so you can imagine so you using heat every time you wash your hair that's not healthy number six diet your diet can also play a part in how your hair grows or does not grow keep your eating as clean as possible lots of vegetables and good food and cut back on the junk if you want to see good things come out of you put good things inside you my final thoughts on your natural hair not growing growing your natural hair takes time it is a process you can't rush but i can assure you that if you put the above tips into place then you will see a difference in the growth of your hair there is nothing super special about my hair from yours if i can do it so can you too that brings me to the end of today's video if you enjoyed watching this if you enjoyed listening to me please kindly give me a thumbs up and also subscribe if you haven't and if you want more of these videos let me also know in the comment section below and i will definitely be bringing more of this your way if you have questions on what i've talked about in this video please let me know also in the comment section and i will definitely reply you thank you so much and i'll see you on my next one soon bye